celebrate your feelings. Don't villainize them. I spent a long time villainizing my feelings, saying that's a bad feeling. I shouldn't feel that. I feel this way. I feel that way. I'm going to push it down. I'm not going to think about it. I don't want to give too much away, but there is a movie called Inside Out Part 2. And if you haven't seen it, I recommend it uh, for everyone on the planet. Anybody who has a pulse needs to see this movie. Um, if you have already seen it, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, I don't want to spoil it for you. So I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. Like I want to talk to you about it, but I also don't want to spoil it for you. One of the things I love about this movie is that it gives voice to talking about your feelings and normalizing it. And I think a lot of that has come out of our post pandemic period. Um, although we're not really out of the pandemic, everybody says that we are, but the after effects are still reverberating. We really don't know all the impacts of it. Uh, one of the good things I think to come out of it, if you can say that, is that people are more willing to talk about their feelings. Uh, they're more willing to say, I'm having a bad mental health day, so I need to check in, I need to take a break, I need to stop. And I think that's fantastic. Um, and I cannot speak for you, gentle watcher. I can say for me that growing up in a difficult childhood situation, I was told more often than not, not to feel how I felt. And it left a mark, uh, specifically on my ability to feel things and say things and be things. And I've had a lot of help, I've had a lot of therapy and all that to say, it is so deeply important to celebrate your feelings. And I mean all of them. I mean your anger, I mean your joy, which is a lot easier to celebrate. It's a lot easier to lean into joy than to lean into anger. And I encourage you, no, I, I implore you <laughs> to celebrate your feelings, whatever they are. Uh, one of the fabulous lines of the movie, which I won't share because it's a bit of a spoiler, um, talks a lot about the embracing of feelings, right? And, you know, maybe you have this unlock. Um, one of the things that I pride myself on with this platform is that I am a passenger on this journey. I'm not an expert. Um, as the boss of balance, that is a title that some days is aspirational and some days is a description. Some days I feel like it's more of a description than an aspiration and those are the days I feel like I'm winning and it's important to lean into both. Like the other day I had a very aspirational day of boss of balance and I did not make it y'all. I did not make it. And as Dr. Mark Brackett says, third person self-talk is an example of empathy for ourselves. So saying to yourself, hey Jen, you did a good job or hey, whatever your name is, you did a good job is a really important step to feeling your feelings and taking that moment and taking that breath and going, you know what? I can do this. I just feel a little uncertain right now. Okay. So where's the uncertainty coming from? And just really unpack your feeling and celebrate it. And like, as silly as it might sound, embracing that feeling to you instead of pushing it away. And I think you will find a lot more life behind that. So as you watch this, Think about how you're feeling right now. Maybe you're tired, maybe you're anxious. Um, Brene Brown says that your body shows up um, with excitement or nervousness. We get to choose the label. Um, that's a paraphrase of how she says it. Um, but something that I've always said is, you know, I, I get to choose, am I excited or am I nervous? And I think that picking excited is, is probably um, a wiser choice. Doesn't mean I don't leave room for the nervousness because nervousness means I'm invested and I'm somebody who wants to be invested in what I'm doing. So the nervousness means I'm up to something big. So it's important to lean into that too. So this week, as you walk into this week and you do whatever it is that you're gonna do, please celebrate how you're feeling. Don't villainize it. I'm Jen Haston. I am the boss of balance and please, if you find this helpful, please like, share and subscribe, send it to a friend who needs to embrace their feelings. Um, you can find me on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram. Uh, you get a message every week when you follow me about how to be a better parent, partner and person and become the boss of balance in your own life. So I'll see you next week. And until then, keep seeking your balance, whatever that looks like. Bye y'all.